Hey guys, Jessica Cabasi here. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a gradient that goes over this image. Kind of like a lens flare effect, but I mean it is similar to the other tutorials that I've made, but I want to do it specifically to the left side of the photo just to show you guys the different ways of doing it. Now, um, you can just get any normal image that you have. Go over to this tab right here and go to gradient. Now the first thing that I do is select a white to transparent gradient. And just finding it can be annoying because white, you can't really tell. There we go, I found it. It's like a needle in a haystack. So change the angle of it so that it's kind of going downwards. And just by clicking on your actual photo, you can change the movement. As you can see, I'm going back and forth. You can change it. And I do want it to kind of be a little stronger, like up to here. And I'm going to press OK. Let's say you don't want the gradient on this side of the picture. All you have to do is just click on the mask for the gradient fill. Select a black color. I'd recommend the hardness is at 0%. And kind of sweep over using a tablet pen or just your mouse and kind of get rid of it so that it's kind of only affecting that one side. So again, kind of only going to that side. Now, now that we have a base, the first thing that you can do is add the colors that you want. So make a new layer, and you can select a red color. You could do this with a brush, or you could do this with a gradient fill. I'm going to show you guys first with a brush and then with a gradient fill, so you can kind of pick whichever one you want. I'm going to go from normal to overlay, and I'm just going to go over the image very slightly. And then make another new layer. This is going to require a lot of layers. From normal to screen. Now screen is really going to be bringing that color out. You can change it. I think I'm going to change my color to a lighter pink. So it will show a little more. So there we go. It's kind of, you know, it's a lighter pink. It's going to show a little bit more. So that's one way of doing that. I could add a yellow color on top of this as well from normal to overlay. Okay, that's really not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, let's lower this. Yeah, so that doesn't look... Well, that's not really what I had in my head. That's really not what I expected the color to turn out like. Let's choose a purple color. At least you're seeing trial and error, right? And the last thing that I want to do is add a white color. And I'm going to lower my opacity to 22%. And to kind of connect this all together, layer, new adjustment layer, and then go to curves. You can kind of add in... Add in a curves layer to kind of solidify it a little bit. And I'll show you that before and after. And you can always change how intense the colors are. Again, just giving you an idea of how it would look. Now, if I were to delete all the brush ones and then use just a gradient fill, so I just have that first gradient fill that I made, I would go to gradients and I would pick any gradient color that I want and I would keep it transparent. So I'll Choose this color, and again, keep it an angle. And if I was to go to overlay, something like overlay or screen, that's kind of how it would look like. Um, the brush does take a little bit more time, and you kind of have to be familiar with the layer settings to kind of get a good look. But if I add one more gradient layer, so if I added a, let's see, I don't really have that many options. I just have like, oh, here we go, blue. If I added a nice blue. I changed that to overlay as well. But I'm going to select a mask and make sure that this is not going over to this side because I want it to just kind of strictly be on that side. 
And you can do this with all your other layers. Just kind of click the layer mask and look at the difference that it makes. Keeping a low opacity is ideal because you don't want to make such harsh lines. So something kind of like that. And you can always add more, you can add less. I will show you the difference. That is without the curves layer, but this is without any of that flare to it. So that would be before, and oh, I'm sorry, okay, that would be without any picture. So this would be after, and that would be before. So this is kind of if you want to add like a nice flare to your pictures, a very subtle gradient, even if this is really not that subtle, but it's okay, whatever. Just do whatever you want. If you think it looks good, it looks good. So those are the two ways of doing it. I would prefer doing it with the brush. Um, wasn't really the best example, but I kind of had to do this impromptu. Um, gradients, gradients are very easy uh, if you're first experimenting with it. So I would go with the gradients. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, let me know any other suggestions that you have, and thank you for watching.